Premier Ford fundraising today off of his promise to sell alcohol in convenience stores. In this email to his supporters, the Premier writes, quote, you aren't a baby and the government shouldn't treat you like one. We're making some changes. Soon you're going to be able to pick up a case of beer or a bottle of wine at quarter stores across Ontario. Why? Because why not? The email asking supporters to click and donate a dollar. While we don't have an exact date yet for when beer and wine will be in convenience stores like this one, the Convenience Stores Association of Ontario, they're preparing for it. They say look for a separate section in corner stores that will sell alcohol. Yeah, there'll be a lock-up section, whether it be a gate or you have to lock the coolers. There'll be something if there's laws around or, or, or timelines around. You know, uh, you know, if a store is open 24 hours a day and they can only sell till 11, we have to find a way to lock up those sections. We've seen lots of theft recently in LCBO stores, and that's even with multiple cashiers and uniformed police officers on hand ready to take down would-be booze thieves. Should we expect an increase in theft at convenience stores selling alcohol? No, I don't believe so. Remember, we do sell highly contentious, expensive products like tobacco today, and and uh, and and we don't have that experience. You'll always have some type of thief in some na na neighborhood, but keep in mind also, as you add beer and wine and other products to the convenience store, that you add more employees as well. So there will be more than one person. What about pricing? How much more will quarter store beer and wine cost us? We price it in accordance to the market today. Nobody's gouging anybody. And usually when you uh, actually create more con competition, I'm not saying you'll create cheaper prices, you'll uh, create uh, competitive pricing. Interestingly enough, the Convenience Stores Association tells me they're not expecting to make massive money on alcohol. What they are hoping it will do is bring people in the door to buy higher margin items, like ice cream bars and chips. It'll drive revenue, I can't say it won't but it'll drive traffic, which will drive other revenues, such as potato chips, such as beef jerky, such as peanuts, all the incremental products that you actually can't buy in a beer store or the LCBO. So you'll actually have millions of people now with the opportunity to stand in line at a convenience store and buy other products that go along with a, a one-stop shop or a snack that goes with it. Okay, so convenience stores are excited about it. The Premier fundraising off of it, but there is one big catch to beer and wine in convenience stores. The current contract the government has with the brewers that own the beer store prohibits it and could trigger hundreds of millions of dollars in break fees that taxpayers would be on the hook for. Richard Southern, City News.